is going on everybody roadrunner here with another after effects tutorial today i'm going to be showing you how to clone yourself in after effects as you can see here with my video resume i was able to put myself three times in one frame and this was kind of just a goofy video getting to know me and interviewing myself this idea actually stemmed from a project i did back in college it was like a self-portrait that you're supposed to do and i had my own talk show and I interviewed like three different versions of myself. So I've done this a few times and I can honestly say trial and error is your best teacher when it comes to this. So I did this really quick example right here just to kind of show you how quick you can get it done. But I'll be going over a few tips and tricks, things you can avoid and things you can do to kind of make it a little bit better that I didn't learn until my second or third time trying it. Warning. One thing that's incredibly important, the camera has to be on a tripod and it cannot move between any of the shots. Let's get started. As you see here, I have three pieces of video that I'm going to put into a new composition. And I'll go through these one at a time. So this bottom one is my plate or my base. I find a good spot in the video and I take a screen grab. So that way, see this is a video. You can see the camera moves a little bit when I hit, after I hit record. But if you have a screen grab, you can extend it for any amount of time and you know that it's going to stay absolutely consistent. Um, another reason that you do this or have a plate or a base is because you can see here with my couch shot. Now, I don't find this super distracting, but I know a lot of people who would and I would probably end up masking it out. But there's a car driving by in the background. So what I would normally do here if I want to get rid of it, it's pretty easy. I just hit G, bring up the pen tool, and I make sure that this layer is selected and I would just mask myself out. And you'll notice as soon as I connect it, the car lights disappear, boom. And that's because it's just showing the area masked out in that layer. So another thing you can do is hit F on the keyboard to feather this out. You'll notice it just kind of helps blend this mask in with the area around it but i'm not going to do that today and we're just going to live with the car lights in the background so getting down to actually masking yourself um, the last video file i have is me walking through the front door and me looking at the other me and they're both saying what are you doing here so what i really would like to do is time this up so that way my head turns as the door is opening. So I can mark that by hitting star and making a marker. And now I can make a marker here on the top video file when the door actually starts opening. I can zoom in and line those two up. So you can see the two versions of me. The easiest way to do this would be to, again, hit G on the keyboard, bring up the pen tool, and just mask out myself walking in the front door. And look at that. Boom. Really nice, quick, easy way of cloning yourself. Again, it's important to keep these stationary in both shots because if it moves at all, you would definitely see like a line going across the screen. You know, with this wooden paneling, if I had moved the camera slightly between takes, it would be pretty easy to tell that these don't line up exactly. So yeah, it's an easy way of cloning yourself. And again, you know, if you want to uh, feather this out, you can hit F on the keyboard. Um, just helps it blend a little bit better. It's easier to see the mask that way. And there you go. Thank you so much for joining me for today's After Effects tutorial. I'm hoping to do a more in-depth tutorial on this for more like what I did for my video resume um, because that was a lot more into it. I was using the green screen while cloning myself several times. Um, so this was just kind of a quick version to get it out there. But I hope you learned something and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.